Who wants to hear about the first time Vicky cooked something for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to hear about it, right? Interested? Okay. Well, it took one day for me to realize, as I think you guys have all figured out, she cannot cook. She, um, she invited me over. Uh, this is before we were like officially dating. In my head, um, in my head we were dating. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she, we were over, I was at her place, and she asked, hey, do you want cup noodles? Or instant noodles? I'm like, yeah, that sounds delicious. She's cooking for me, this is great. <laughs> and so, I think everyone here has made instant, put up your hands if you've made instant noodles in your life before. Yeah? Yeah, everyone. Everyone knows how to make an instant noodle. Okay, it, it, it's not rocket science. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, she was boiling the water, she put the noodles in, standard fare, and then she dumped the water out. She was making soup noodles. For anyone who, who's had this, you know the green packet Maggie men? Yeah? Yeah? That's what she was making. She dumped the water out. And then she cooled off the noodles in, in cold water. And you know what? You know what? That's okay. That's okay because there is a thing for that. You know, you stop the noodles from cooking and, and, and then you put it back into hot water. Okay, so she puts it in a bowl and she fills it with cold tap water. <laughs> and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. She's, um, I thought she was testing me and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. This is the first time I gotta make this happen. And, um, she, she, her excuse was, I didn't want the bowl to crack. That's why I use cold water. Okay, even though for the rest of her life she's been eating it with hot water. So I'm eating it, I'm like, oh, this tastes pretty good. Okay, okay, not, not too bad, because she's looking at me longingly. I'm like, yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah, best, best meal I've ever had. And um, yeah, that was day one. <laughs> it took me one day to find out that she cannot cook. It took me a week, and this is in the university, to find out that she really loves to study. She's like a straight-A student, and uh, she, she, she's a nerd. Like, she plays video games. We all play video games, so she, she's really cool. It took me a week to find out that she's really passionate about studying cells and biology. Her favorite bacteria is a Helicobacter pylori. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like the stomach ulcer thing. Yeah, it's a stomach ulcer. See, even I knew that. <laughs> that was one week it took me to find that. It took me a month, one month, to get her to eat chocolate. And for anyone who knows her, she hates chocolate. <laughs> but she took the time to make it for me. And I'm like, that's cool. It took, me, it took her one month to do that. It took me one year to chase after her. That's how long I spent chasing after her and getting rejected over and over. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I mean, granted, most of the time I was drunk, so I can't fault her, but a year is a long time. Fast forward all that, it took a decade for me to make the final commitment to her. In all honesty, I, I just put it off for so long that it just sounded better to say I waited for a decade. <laughs> but in that decade, it took us one cruise. We went to the Caribbean. And we fell in love with traveling. We fell in love with going and visiting tropical locations and gorging ourselves on endless buffets and eating unlimited amounts of soft serve ice cream. Gambling. It was amazing. It took us one business class flight, well in my case we took 17, 
to fall in love with traveling, especially in comfort, laying flat in the plane. And, and it just inspired us to want to travel to wor the world, and just discover all the different cultures and what there is to experience out there. It took one pandemic for us to really come close together. We went through a lot. There was a lot of highs. There were even more lows, personally, for each of us. We struggled. We were tested mentally, spiritually. Our relationship was tested, but we came through. Through it all, I learned that it takes seeing one smile to make my day, to brighten it up. It takes feeling one touch to know that you care. It takes hearing one song to hear your passion. It takes smelling one of your sage scent oils <laughs> that you use to liven up our, this home that you've created. It takes one moment to realize that I see you seeing me. You are here in my life. I have everything that I need. Together, we live one life. And in this life together, I just ask that you let me do one thing. Let me do the cooking. <laughs> Good times.